Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about shared preferences and Android Kotlin. So let's start. So I've created this project in which I have this uh, activityman.xml and manactivity.kt file. So I've created this text view, shared preferences and Kotlin on this designer. So now I will add some more widgets to this designer and we will uh, create a simple app. So shared preferences is uh, an API or an interface that let you store data locally and uh, it lets you retrieve or modify the data as well. So uh, we will create a simple interface. So I will uh, search here uh, text edit text and uh, then I will a second one to this designer and uh, now I'll uh, arrange them on this designer so I'll pin it from the top and I'll uh, uh, pin it to this side as well as this side now I'll do similar for the second one now I'll pin it to this side as well as this side now I'll drag in a button so button 1 and then button 2 and then uh, 3 and then button 4 so I'll arrange them so I'll bring it here and this one here and then I will bring it here and this one here now I have two edit text and four buttons so now I'll ch change the text on it so first I will go to this code and uh, I'll change the text on these uh, I'll change the IDs of this edit text so I'll change this to name and I'll change this to address and I'll change this text uh, I'll remove this completely and make this hint And uh, equals enter your name and I'll make this uh, hint enter your address and now I'll go down to buttons so I'll change this also so I'll change this to um, name and now I'll go to designer and I'll quickly change the IDs from this designer so if I click on this button so I'll make this save button and I'll make this uh, refractor and I'll make this uh, get button I'll make this clear median and this one delete del btn now I'll refactor this and now I'll pin all of them so I pin this pin this as well so now I'll pin this to the top and uh, I'll pin it uh, to this uh, edit text and now I'll pin it uh, to the top and I'll pin this to this uh, edit text 
now this one to the top and to this edit text this button I'll pin it again and now this one to the top and to this button Control Z and I'll drag it from here Control Z select it from here and pin it to this now we have constrained them now uh, I will change the text on these buttons so I'll go here and to button save I will uh, change the text to save and then on this um, button git I'll change the text to git and uh, on this button clear clear and on this button delete oil use del now if I go to design now we are good to go so now I'll go to uh, or main activity dot kt file and here I will connect all of them so wall uh, et name equals find view by id and edit text and or dot id dot name control z and now I'll copy this and now I'll paste it here and I'll make this uh, uh, ET address and this one also address and now I'll paste it again I'll make this uh, save and uh, here I'll make this uh, button and here I'll change the ID to save button and now I'll copy this control C this and now control V this control V this and control V this as we have four buttons so I'll make this um, git and this one as well git btn and this one to clear and this one to clear btn and this one to del and this one to del btn now we have created the buttons so now I'll uh, Create click event on each of them so I'll use save dot set on click listener and now I'll click listener is created so I'll uh, copy this Control V this and Control V this and Control V this. Now I'll make this uh, uh, get and make this clear and make this del. Now we will uh, create shared preferences. So for that I will use here wall and shade. A pref equals git uh, share preferences and here I'll pass in the name of the preference so I'll name this uh, 
add a name and I will make the mood as context dot mood uh, underscore private now I'll create the editor so our editor or edit equals shade dot uh, edit now on this button click we will uh, put values into this uh, editor and uh, we will commit it or save it so uh, editor edit uh, dot put uh, string so name comma and here we will get uh, text from et name dot text and then I'll make this dot to string and edit dot put string and here I will use address et address dot text dot to string and then I'll commit it edit dot uh, commit so if you do not commit it it will not save the data now we will go to our git button and here we will get the values I'll uh, show a toast here toast dot make text um, this comma data saved comma toast dot length short and dot dot show now we'll come to this git and uh, here I will use wall uh, name equals uh, shared dot git string and here I will pass in the name which is this one this key and then we will pass in the default value so default value and similarly I will do the same for address so I'll use wall address is equal to shared flip dot get string and here I will pass in the key address this one and uh, comma default value So if you do not pass default value, so it will crash if there is no value in the shared preferences. Now here we will uh, clear a value, actually remove a value. So editor edit dot remove and here I will pass in the name. So I'll uh, remove the name or I will remove the address and and the next this one all clear all so editor edit dot clear so this will clear the whole shared preference so I forgot one thing so when we get this data we have to show it so I'll show it in a toast so toast dot make text this comma and here I'll show it so uh, name name plus and here I will use some space and address plus I'll use a space here and uh, here I will use address a double D add and
and now here I will pass in toast dot length short and dot show and now I will quickly run it again so the application is running so if I go to emulator and here I pass in uh, a name John uh, uh, New York and now if I click on the save so it has shown us this data saved if I click on this git so John address New York is, is shown here now if I click on this clear this clear will remove one uh, value the address so if I click on this git now it is showing it again so let's fix uh, this issue so if I come to code so here we forgot commit so edit dot commit here and we have to commit it here as well edit dot uh, commit and now if I run it again you will be you will see that the values will be saved and the preference in the storage now the app is running again so if I go here and now if I click on this get button you can see John address New York now if I click on this clear it will remove the address now if I get this now you can see John and address is default value and now if I delete this completely clear the uh, shared preferences and then if I get it now default value and address default value now if I again uh, have another value uh, M I K and here London and now if I click on save now data saved now if I click on get M I K address London now if I close this app completely and uh, now and now if I open it again this gradient button this is our app and now if I click on this get so MIK address London is saved on this app so we use shared preferences in situation where we need to save the username and password uh, as you can see uh, in many apps we have this remember me button uh, so the, when you check the remember me button so the username and password are saved in the shared preferences so I think that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.